Now, to start the video, this may be a hot take for some of you, but if you had asked me last season who is the best goalkeeper in the world, I would have said Thibaut Courtois. Even if you had asked me who is the best goalkeeper in the last five years, again, I would have said Thibaut Courtois. Now, yes, Alisson and Edison are fantastic goalkeepers in their own right. There's no doubt about that. But in my eyes, Thibaut Courtois is an elite goalkeeper. And to me, he is the best goalkeeper since pretty much around 2020. Now, for all of this time, Thibaut Courtois' backup for the most part has been Andre Lunin. Lunin won the Under-20 World Cup with Ukraine back in 2019, a year after signing with Real Madrid for 8.5 million euros plus a further 5 million euros on add-ons and from that tournament alone that is the same tournament that Haaland scored 9 goals in one game but after watching that tournament where he won the golden glove you could tell Lunen was a really talented goalkeeper but between a bunch of different loans and sitting behind none other than Thibaut Courtois it seemed impossible that Lunen would actually get his fair share of games and that Lunen would end up just leaving when his contract expired or he would just leave Real Madrid by being sold. But here we are today. After Courtois' injury in the beginning of the season, Lunen has been Real Madrid's first choice goalkeeper, especially for the second half of the season. And Lunen, to his credit, has looked extremely impressive and has been an ever solid presence for Madrid at the back. But how did this happen? How did this backup turn into a solid rock for Madrid at the back? And with contract negotiations going on with Madrid, should Lunin extend his contract with Real or should he look to move on in the summer? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So what's going on, everyone? You are listening to Back of the Nature. I hope you're all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. In August 2023, at the start of the season, just two days before Real Madrid's league opener, Thibaut Courtois tore his ACL. This was a huge blow for Real Madrid as he was by far and away their first choice goalkeeper. So most expected after this injury that the season's headlines would be centered around not having their first choice goalkeeper and whoever was to fill in his role would not be nearly as good. Real Madrid and many of their fans somewhat panicked about the prospect of Lunen being the first choice goalkeeper for a whole season. Not that he was bad, but he was just unproven and he was coming off of a season where he played just 12 games for Madrid and conceded 13 goals in those 12 games. Lunen was a backup in all meanings of the word. So to avoid having a 24 year old unproven goalkeeper be the first choice goalkeeper for a club of Madrid size for a whole season, Real Madrid made a move and signed ex Athletic Bilbao goalkeeper Kepa Arizabalaga on loan from Chelsea. But as many could have predicted when this happened, this didn't quite work out for Real Madrid. Now, Kepa did have some really solid performances and some highlight worthy saves, but Kepa was just kind of disappointing. So, despite Real Madrid getting Kepa, Carlo Ancelotti made the move to let the 24 year old Ukrainian goalkeeper be essentially the permanent starter for Real Madrid until Courtois is back. Although Carlo Ancelotti, when he made this move to let Lunin start, he said that Kepa and Lunin would kind of fight out for the first team goalkeeper role. But since this move, Kepa has only started five games for Madrid since the 8th of November, and four of those games were against either much weaker opponents or just straight up were dead rubber games. Lunin has taken his opportunity and never looked back. He has been Real Madrid's surprise package of the season, at least in my eyes, because I think we all expected Drew Bellingham to be very, very good and no one expected Lunen to be as good as he has been. Many people have said that Lunen has been the best goalkeeper this season in La Liga and that isn't a mad take. Lunen is outperforming Thibaut Courtois' best ever season in terms of post-shot expected goals, which is crazy for a stat for a 25-year-old keeper having his first real chance at a club this size. And just a reminder, 25 year old for a goalkeeper is still extremely young. Lunen has had some extremely impressive performances like against RB Leipzig pretty much in both legs in the round of 16 in the Champions League, like against Cadiz, Real Betis, Braga, he has even been solid in the 1-1 draw against Atletico Madrid earlier on in February and he had a really good performance in the Supercopa final against Barcelona where Real Madrid won 4-1 winning the Super Cup. Real Madrid have only conceded 20 goals in 30 games in the league and Lunen himself has only conceded 11 of them playing 18 games in the league. Andre Lunen has been really, really solid. But then when you watch Real Madrid, when you watch Andre Lunen play, it's very easy to forget that Lunen isn't the first choice keeper in the team. He doesn't make big errors, 
he looks solid for the most part and you don't actually notice him all that much which in itself is a huge compliment. The fact that you can say from Thibaut Courtois, whether you like him or not, arguably one of the best goalkeepers in the past decade, from Thibaut Courtois to Andre Lunen, there hasn't really been a drop off in quality between the sticks for Real Madrid. That is an amazing accomplishment and an amazing compliment for the 25 year old Ukrainian shot stopper. With Al Lunen in goal and Madrid having to kind of have Kepa Arizabalaga as their first choice keeper, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if they would be as good as they have been this season. I just don't think they would. Madrid currently is at the top of the table looking pretty, destined to win another La Liga title. They have won the Super Cup and are going into the Etihad Stadium in the quarterfinals of the Champions League against Man City level on aggregate after playing the first leg. I don't know if that would be the case if Kepa Arizabalaga was their first choice goalkeeper. I just don't think that would be the case. Now with Lunin playing so well for Real Madrid and him apparently recently joining Super Asian George Mendes' roster of star players, should Lunin look to leave Madrid in the summer or should should he sign a contract extension, wait it out until Courtois leaves or eventually retires and then be the first choice goalkeeper for Real Madrid? Well, I honestly don't know. I kind of get both sides. If Andre Lunin stays, that will allow him to keep developing and learning from the likes of Courtois. And with the season he has just had, even when Courtois has returned from injury, it's fair to expect Lunin will get a lot more game time. And if he just bides his time for a couple more years, you could see Lunin being the starting goalkeeper for Real Madrid for the next five to 10 years. But then again, Lunin could get a decent move now to a team like let's say Chelsea or Leverkusen, a team of that level, another elite European team. I know Chelsea isn't an elite European team, but you get what I'm saying. And he could be their first choice goalkeeper from the moment he walks through the doors. Now, if it is up to me, I would kind of lean to staying for at least another two years at Madrid, trying to displace Courtois and see how that goes. But listen, either way, Lunin has shocked everyone this season and he is one of the most if not the most underrated goalkeepers in the world without a doubt.